I opened up the hive to check it out and found some major issues and then my battery died. It looks like I have a couple of small hive beetle larvae um, in the new hive. Uh, not super pleased about it, but it's not an infestation. It's not anything major. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some some beetle hive traps in uh, and leave them in as I do some some other treatments. And these are super simple. They're they're made in made in China. They're plastic. You can actually reuse them. That sort of thing. Um, what what a lot of people do is they, they put them in, in the hive and set them in and then fill these pockets and um, go from there. I think it's really messy and it's really easy to spill everything in your hand all in your hive. So what I do is I <clears throat> set them in this piece of Pyrex and then I put, I don't know, about a third of the way with some apple cider vinegar and then I cover them with uh, uh, up to about mm, the halfway or two-thirds mark on top of the apple cider vinegar with some sweet uh, raw virgin oil. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be organic or anything crazy like that. Uh, it just It's to drown the, uh, the hive beetles. So that's, uh, that's my plan. And uh, I'll, I'll show filling them and then I'll show putting them in the hive. One thing that makes it easier filling them is if you have a little syringe what you can do is put them in the hive and then uh, pre-fill your syringe and, and poke it in. I don't have a syringe. Uh, I have some somewhere, but they're full of wood glue. And so, yeah, that's not good. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. One of the first things that you'll notice as I address this hive is the second super is missing from the last video. And what happened was I had knee surgery and didn't open the hive for almost four weeks. And when I went back in, uh, the, hive had, the hive super had been on for like two weeks before that. And when I went back in, there was no comb drawn out. Um, that was a huge wake-up call. I did a mite count. I started really looking at it, and my the mites were crazy. I had some small hive beetle damage, uh, you name it. Um, a little bit of wing deformation as well. So I really want these bees to live, um, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to get them to live through the winter. And I've decided to treat. Um, I've decided to uh, get these to live through the winter whatever way possible. Now, these have not ever been the sweetest bees, but as I opened this hive, um, I didn't super smoke them, but as I opened this hive, man, the tone and the pitch changed, and that one little guard bee, you can see, she's just nailing me, just bumping me from the start. So this is the first frame out, and actually, this is the this is number 10 frame, and um, this one, uh, a couple weeks ago, wasn't, wasn't uh, filled at all, and they're, they're drawing comb out. And they've got honey in, and they've got some honey there, and they're mad. They're always mad, but man, they're mad today. So, I'm going to set this one off to the side a little bit. Eat today, um, I got a mite problem. Let me see if I can, if I can show you. Not seeing any. So I got brood there, which I'm pretty happy about, but I've got some deformed wings here. Um, let's see if I can find one. I don't have a lot of it, but um, part of the reason why the hive's not drawing comb and putting honey up like they should be, little ladies, and why they're so mad is, I think, because of the mite level. And I know that the... Uh, the keeper that these bees originally came from doesn't treat. Um, I would really like to have living bees come spring, so I'm going to treat. Let's 
So again, we've got got larva in there. We've got an uncapped queen cell there. And pissed off bees. We got another uncapped queen cell there. Yeah. Some more larva. Some old honey. Oh, this one. Uh, well, she just went. She's got some wing issues. Man, I'm getting bumped. All right, so I'm not going to tear into this too much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and put put her back together. Ooh, I just got nailed on the hand. Ow. So, um, just because of the health of the hive, I'm going to have to start feeding them. And so what I've got... Ooh. Hello, ladies. Um, I've got a little fondant here that um, I'm not going to just fill it up, but I am going to put a little um, on the top. And I'm doing it now because uh, I'm going to try to do everything before I, uh, I treat for, for mites. So I'm going to leave that there for now. Now, you'll see here I have, um, man, this hive has all kinds of problems. Small hive beetle issue. So I've got my hive beetle traps. Now, again, this is a combination of, of uh, apple cider vinegar and oil, um, just some olive oil. Now, I would like to tell you how that's an old secret family recipe. It's not. I found it online. <laughs> so let me get some space in here, and uh, I'll go ahead and, and put it in. if you can see it or not go ahead and pin it so they're just bumping me all along the veil and I can feel them on my beard just nail on the beard um, at this time of day they shouldn't be this this angry but they are all right so I'm gonna treat with strips these strips are super toxic that's why I'm not wearing my regular gloves again um, use these and uh, you, you're, you're going to want to not, not touch anything or, or limit anything you touch. So your bee veil, um, your hive, especially the fondant, things like that. So you go ahead and open it up. Now there's enough to treat five supers in here, but I'm only going to treat this one super. So don't get this on your skin. Don't inhale it. Again, it's, uh, it's poison. So, and I don't do this lightly. I don't um, treat these bees with pesticide because I want to. Um, I'm treating them because I have to. Now you could put nails in here. So two of these, one every five frames. So if you have a nuke, um, just one, or two of these for every, uh, every 10 frame super. That'll mash down good. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to try really to limit what I touch. You know, it seems like I'm doing a lot today with the small hive beetle treatment, the um, app bar, which is going to stay in for six weeks, and this fondant, but I really want these bees to live uh, into spring, so we're going to see what we can do to make that happen. So in about six weeks, I'm going to do another video showing uh, pulling the Apivar strips out so even and here, um, installing the mouse guard in the front of these and, and limiting access, high. as well as the steps I'm going to take to to winterize the hive, putting in the bottom here, board, and just an overall health of the hive going into winter. So. I'm going to feed them lots of the fondant. Uh, I'm just giving them a taste with this video.
my hope then is to show you come spring a nice healthy hive that I can split into another.